Hey there YouTube. How was everybody's weekend? If you're in the States, I hope you had a happy holiday, happy safe holiday. Um, just a quiet, quiet weekend around here. My roommate went out of town for the weekend. Uh, his son was running a uh, half marathon and he just went to spend some time with him. So had the house to myself, just me and the cat and a little dog. So today I wanted to talk about, I've been, I've had, a, I've gotten a number of uh, new followers on Instagram recently as well as here and there's always new people I have to realize that that um, every video you put out is not just the people that have watched like countless videos of you every single time you put out a video there's a new person and every time you put out a video there's people that just watch you know here and there so I feel like you always have to update and a little lesson from this is that you might like when you see people say stuff on social media make videos put out any kind of content don't take just one video one thing they said or one piece of content and sum them all up just within that um, I'm going to talk about how I don't eat a totally raw vegan diet and what I recommend because it seems like just because I eat a very high raw vegan diet um, it you know anytime if somebody finds out for the first time that I don't eat fully raw vegan diet they act like their heads are about to explode oh my god I thought you said you were raw vegan I thought blah 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 and I'm like if you watch like I said that's why I'm saying always go back and check out other content or watch enough content before you kind of try to picture you know try to sum up a person because I talk about it quite frequently on here. It's not like something I mention once every hundred videos. And it just is what it is. I've always, uh, you know, from, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been vegan, quit, like, oh, I'm, I did a major health transformation in 2012. I quit smoking, I quit drinking, went plant-based. Um, I've never, I think one of the reasons that my process is different and why it's hard for a lot of people to understand me is I've never followed one, per I've never had that one person. I've never had like my guru in this lifestyle. I always kind of just thought of that as silly. I'm never, I've never had my raw vegan crush. I'm not a fanboy of anybody. And I just kind of came into just trying to, do, to go through um, information and discern what I think works for me. And that has been a big that has been a big help to me throughout the years because I don't get nothing out of any comment sections on social media. Like um, I'll trip into other people's comment sections sometime, and it's just I think there's a lot of people that are just lonely out there and just want to have a conversation more than they actually want to learn about something or know about something or better you know get a better understanding. Um, I that's just that's just a time suck that's a waste for me it's always been my process um i don't ask a lot of questions i mean it, it like if i really need to clarify something i will but i like to use search i like to read i like to watch videos i like to do my own research and i like to make up my own mind that way um and that's how i've done ever since i started this thing so from the very beginning like I just to reiterate what my reason was for changing my habits like changing my lifestyle in the first place was I drank I was a drunk for 30 years I didn't treat my body well and I was like very worried at the age of 48 that um, you know I was gonna have to pay for that and there was gonna probably be some serious health consequences down the line so I started off I, yeah, I lost a little bit of weight. I was kind of pudgy when I started. Um, I definitely needed to lose some weight, but it, had, it really wasn't weight related. It wasn't any uh, looks related or anything, anything other than just like, hey, I've done a lot of bad stuff and I want to see if I can mitigate the damage. Even if I can't stop it, hit it off, maybe I can delay it for a while. So I got into this thing just to try to, you know, reverse some of the health the damage I had done and just to make my body the healthy it could be I'm not in here to be in a club I'm not in, I don't do this you know to be part of any group or to even to be looked at in any way I just like to share with people and and I don't try to talk you into anything I don't want you to eat like I eat I don't care if you eat like I eat um, sometimes I'm just like hey can you guys just leave like a lot of different groups can you leave me out of it and y'all just argue directly with yourself because you have the fully raw people that are just gung-ho and the second they hear uh, cooked food their heads explode and they're like oh, I can't listen to you you eat some cooked food and then you have the vegans that are mostly cooked vegan and they think the raw is terrible and it's doing this and it's giving vegan blah 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 a bad name 
and then there's the then there's this the meat eaters and I don't I'm not talking about just people that eat meat because most of the people in my day-to-day -day life that are actually people I really know they eat meat I'm talking about the ones that are just like it's their life they are out there looking for everybody that don't eat meat and they're like well this is stupid they kind of have that caveman crunch to them but even them make your own decisions but let's stop talking about it we don't need to go back and forth I notice this on a lot of different subjects when you go on social media. When's the last time you've seen an argument on social media or in a comment section or even just a back and forth in a discussion, even if it doesn't get heated or angry, where somebody has changed their mind? I see it every day, all day. I'm on Twitter. I just pop into Twitter every once in a while just to kind of see what's happening in the world. And that's all it is. All day, every day. Never stops. Um, so... The reason, like I said, there's a number of reasons, but but also too, I've also kind of defied this whole little thing that people, like I say, it's easy for people to put you in one box or the other. They're all people, it's always, oh well, you're gonna, if you eat any cooked food, there's that slippery slope and you're gonna eat more and more and more. No, I've just always kind of been, um, you know, I've experimented a lot since I started this lifestyle. I'll tweak something here and there, do this and that. So the stuff that I eat cooked, I wanted to share, you know, kind of for the new people, uh, is always very focused. There's a reason for doing it. It's not just like one day I'm like, oh my God, I don't, I don't feel like raw today. I just want to go eat something cooked. No, I eat certain things and I eat certain things that have certain nutrition in them. And I eat things that are local to here. Like I eat sweet potatoes. I had sweet potatoes for lunch today because I kind of got a little off cycle for ripe bananas. I like those orange sweet potatoes. You don't eat them? fine I'm not I, you know no skin off my nose and I'm not saying you have to or you need to eat those I eat sweet potatoes I eat legumes um, and I do highly advise if you are a fully raw vegan and you're like nope I don't eat a bite of cooked blah 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 sprout you some lentils at least get them like that and another thing that if you are a regular watcher here I talk about uh, sprouting all the time I especially sprout lentils I've got two jars going over there always eat lentils. I try to eat lentils almost every day or lentil sprouts almost every day, but usually a couple of times a week um, with no rhyme or reason. It's not like I'm like, okay, today's the day to do this or that. I'll have legumes. I'll have black beans or during the summer here, I'll have black eyed peas, purple hull peas, the occasional butter bean, but I just feel like there's a lot of nutrition in legumes. There's a lot of protein in legumes and I get them both ways, but I mostly get them through lentil sprouts. Um, so those are two things. I eat, uh, I eat sweet potatoes, I eat legumes. Um, every once in a while I'll have a taste or I don't see any good sweet potatoes and I'll eat a regular potato. Um, every so often, every couple of weeks or so, I'll have a serving or two of quinoa um, and then then greens. I do like some collard greens every once in a while during the summer. And then there's a few other things, but it's like I say, that's pretty much it. And they're all like things that are powerhouses of uh, nutrition, you know, according to me. So like I say, this one will kind of be short and sweet. This is just kind of like my thoughts on how to learn anything online, how to figure out anything online or how to make decisions for you. You, get, you need to get rid of all the chatter. All that comment stuff or all the, the, you know, the comments on Instagram photos and videos and stuff, or it, like I say, just back and forth, that's a lot of noise. When you can literally focus down, go to Google, go to YouTube, search these terms, search raw vegan diet, search whole food plant-based diet, search some of these people that I mentioned to you. Like I say, I just try to be more of a curator than actually somebody that's giving you original stuff. These are the people I look to. This is how I've, these are, these are the people that have helped me form my decision. And I would just say you do the same thing. I've got no investment in how you eat. I like, I'm not, some content, some content creators, especially in the vegan, raw vegan um, segment, are kind of like televangelists. They're so emotional and they're begging, like they're fighting for your soul. I just kind of tell you what I think, what I'm doing, some sources, bing, bang, boom. I'm just not all that emotional in anything in life. So um, yeah, that's why I do what I do. But if I, and I can't put a number on it. I think that's always so asinine when people say, I eat a 95% raw food diet or a 90% raw food diet. Do I eat cooked food every day? No. 
Um, probably, like I said, you know, I'll th and, and the way that I'll incorporate it in with the other food, um, I'll put sweet potatoes on my salad sometime. So, you know, you've still got your good greens coming in. It helps with the digestion. Another reason I like those sweet potatoes is digestion. Um, I feel the orange sweet potatoes are probably one of the, they probably digest as close to raw food as anything that's cooked out there. But, uh, so yeah, that's how I do it. But then, like I say, I'll add that, I'll add them in like that. I'll sometimes add black beans in with my salad or sometimes, like I say, once every couple of weeks, I'll have black beans and quinoa, but, uh, it's no big deal and it's not anything to trip over. Do fully raw, do whole food plant-based. You do you and I'll do me. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and have a beautiful week. Peace.